repeat DUI offender will serve 14 years behind bars for hitting and killing a three-year-old boy in a parking lot while he was high on meth. His name is James Holcomb. He's the son of a White County commissioner, and some unusual circumstances surrounding the case have raised questions about whether he's getting any special treatment. We have team coverage on that tonight. We're going to begin with Latasha Givens outside the White County Courthouse, an emotional day in court today. Going into today's hearing, the offer on the table was a plea agreement that included 14 years in prison and a long list of probation recommendations from the prosecution. But it was the testimony of witnesses and Little Easton's father that sent waves of emotion throughout the courtroom. As the sentencing hearing got underway for James J. Holcomb, witness Gail Pitts took the stand. The hearing shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So, after you got she describes what she saw after arriving at the grocery store parking lot on that fateful day. The day three-year-old Easton Kane was run over and killed by the defendant. The state says Hokum was under the influence of meth at the time. I just heard a scream. I opened the door. I stepped out. A grocery store buggy was rolling across the parking lot, and I noticed it was a baby carrier in it. She ran and grabbed the buggy, then noticed the defendant in his truck. He was just slumped over the driver's wheel and we were screaming at him and he was not responding to us, not looking at us or anything. Kayla, Easton's mom, was pinned between Holcomb's vehicle and another one. Little Easton was right next to her, trapped by Holcomb's truck. Kayla was holding his hand at the time. And then I looked around and she kept looking down and I noticed <laughs> the little boy. Another witness testified he and another man worked to move the vehicle. They finally backed the car up. And that's when I seen the mom. She picked her son up and put him in the back of the car. Easton's mom, Kayla Kane, begins to cry uncontrollably as Pitts recounts the horrific scene. We chose not to show that at the family's request, but her cries can be heard throughout Pitts' testimony. The little boy. <laughs> Sniffles and sighs filled the courtroom. Before being sentenced, Holcomb read a statement. He cries as he talks about his drug use and apologizes to the Kane family. I allowed myself to get out of control when my drug use took over my life. I was selfish and I used drugs and there is no excuse. The prosecution counter his statements in their final words. There are many, many people addicted to substances that don't have the opportunities that Mr. Holcomb has squandered. And the defense objected to three of the items on that long list of probation violations or recommendations rather, but the judge ultimately decided that James Holcomb would not be banned from the county and that he would not permanently lose his driver's license. And White County, I'm Latasha Givens, 11 Alive News. Yeah, awful situation.